Yo, what's up? My name is RetroPat, and yes, things do look a bit different in Dungeon Defenders for the time being. This is after the Halloween update, which I believe occurred on around October 2nd or October 3rd. This is my first time playing since then, and I really like the little Halloween-themed event tavern changes like this. I feel like it really spices things up, makes them a lot more interesting. It's super cute, cool to see. It's cool to see the devs kind of put in that effort and on a game, you know, that's over 10 years old, even if, and I don't know, I've never played during a Halloween event like this, but even during, even if they're just bringing it back, even if this is the same reskin to the tavern they put into the game every single year, hey man, at least they're doing that. You know, this game's pretty old. I feel like a lot of developers, especially for a single player kind of experience like this, for the most part, single player, a lot of people wouldn't put in the effort. They would kind of just let it die and move on to the next project. But you know what? They kind of still, they're sticking around and I, I really respect that. We also have a level up from last episode on my monk, bringing up to level 94, which is by far the highest level character that I have, which is kind of insane. We're going to dump all of this into... I think or a radius maybe or a strength i feel my aura strength's been kind of dipping down there a fair bit we're gonna dump it into radius though maybe we'll respec at some point there we go two seven two five you like to see it all right we just did a halloween themed episode last time with the halloween spectacular 2 on hard difficulty now i do want to actually take that a bit a step further and do it on probably night try to attempt it on nightmare if it's possible upcoming but not today today we're doing a different style of halloween map we're doing portal defense hey man it's spiders spawning everywhere i think that's pretty halloweenish in my opinion and honestly, Misty Meyer Forest is just super incredible. I've never, ever done this map on this, on the PC port of the game. I actually played this map on Xbox 360, I want to say back in 2012, 2013, probably closer to 2013. This was one of the few, I feel like, challenges, if I, if I recall correctly, one of the few challenges that was in that base game. Now, I did have to actually get the DLC for it, obviously, but this was a big deal. I feel like this was one of the few, the few sort of DLCs that you could actually play. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and see. I'm not able to see the the problem is I don't know if I clicked something I can't see the map is there no map on this on this game mode now thankfully I do know Misty Meyer pretty well but I can't I'm, I'm clicking tab and it's not letting me see the map and I think I should have everything key bound I did just have to read key bind everything because whenever there is an update to Dungeon Defenders you have to like rekey bind everything, which is kind of annoying, but not that big of a deal. Obviously. I don't know. It's when it's this often, honestly, it's a little frustrating, but it's a funny little quirk to have to worry about. But I guess we just jump into our build since this is the only crystal that I really see. I'm going to go ahead and just, I don't even know if there are crystals. It might just be straight up spiders. Watch well, actually, if we can move our, we can move our aura stack that close to it. I think we might as well, fellas. So let's go ahead and have our strength drain. Strength drain and snare. This thing is much smaller though. The the aura size is so significantly smaller on nightmare difficulty. Does the radius get capped on nightmare? That's the other question that I I, I guess I wonder about. Uh, we're gonna grab all the mana that we can. We still have 100 seconds or so, which is honestly a fair bit of time. I don't think this is gonna be. We do have 12 waves of this. I guess that's the other thing to to factor in. I don't know what how many turrets I'll need on my monk is the problem. I'm gonna switch to a different character really quick. I feel like dropping my mana and switching over to the mage is probably the best case scenario so i can go ahead and set up the lightning towers and just have them blasting away all of the spiders as long as they are within range of a strength drain aura to give me the ability to get rid of any lightning resistances this is probably one of the best ways to get rid of the spiders would be my would be my guess let's go ahead and get these guys nice and built let me move over here so i can have it be turned at an angle we'll try to have it be turned at an angle there we go i guess that's fine that'll do That'll do three lightning towers right there. I don't see any other spiders. I guess it shows me 60 spiders are over here. So the spiders are going to be trying to get in this. They're trying to escape. I believe that's how this is going to work. It'll be interesting to see. Let's go ahead and switch over to our series EV. We might as well just switch over and build a quick booster beam because why not? That ended up costing five. That shouldn't have to cost five. Let's go ahead and rebuild it properly. From this edge over here it should easily be a four cost tower there we go and then i'm kind of just switching between and just building whatever i think i need to i probably do want to build a wall of archers here in front of i guess in front of both locations we'll put one we only have 80 mana so we'll put one on each side for now i just i really don't know how difficult this is going to be so i might be i might be over preparing i might be under preparing um but this is an achievement completing this does get me an achievement that i think less than three percent of players or so have gotten all right we're going to be jumping to the next wave here. I 
actually definitely shouldn't be on my summoner. That was a dumb mistake by me, but that's okay. That's going to happen. Let's see how these spiders spawn. Let's go grab whatever chests we have. And there's two over here. Can't believe I almost missed like that. Okay, let's go grab the Shroomite. Grab the mana from him. I missed. I almost missed out on a fair bit of energy. The lightning towers are hitting, are hitting minions all across the map. I hope. I don't know if this the portal has teleported. Oh wait, do I just lose? Gotcha. This was something I didn't plan for. Um. Wait, is the portal? I'm sorry. Is the portal letting in the spiders? If the portal's letting in the spiders and it teleported, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I have to learn. I've never played this map before. I played it like way back, you know, 10 years ago. I have to learn the mechanics all from scratch. So I think what happened is the spawn of the spiders change, but I don't know if, if this little entryway doesn't change, I think I should be a hundred percent fine. I feel like this will be a pretty easy map, honestly. Now it says portal energy six out of six left. I think what that means is if six spiders get into this thing, I think I just lose. I, I, I think that's unironically how that works. So. If just six spiders sneak by, it might be GG's, fellas. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, build more of a wall over here. We're going to go ahead and build archers surrounding it so they can't easily jump into it. Like this. This should be solid enough. We've got 44 out of out of 140, 140 minion units. We have so many more minion units to abuse here. This looks like a pretty solid defense to me, I will say, but... Let's go ahead and grab whatever mana we can. Let's switch over to... I almost want to switch to my my monk and just set up more auras around the map. I just don't know what will be a problem. I have so many defense units left. I want to look around the map. I want to look around and just try to scour out. It's only giving me one notification of this crystal, so I feel like that's the only crystal. I'm going to go ahead and just start placing... Actually, you know what I want to do? I don't care about ensnare auras. I don't want any ensnare auras. What I want is strength drain plus electric aura stacks. Just those two. I don't need to slow them down. I just want to be able to kill whichever ones I can on their way towards the center of the map. Oh, I can't even I can't even press tab to see the map to see what tier of like weapons are dropping. It's just godly. I feel like this might be significantly easier than I expected. I thought this map on Nightmare would be a little bit of a challenge. So few people have completed it. So few people. We're also only at wave 6 out of 12, and it is very common in Dungeon Defenders to uh, get a little cocky, get a little arrogant, and then a map just gets significantly harder and blow your socks off. So let's not uh, make that same mistake that so many players make, like myself. We're going to jump into this next wave a little early-ish, just to speed things up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and build this here since there is a spider spawning situation right there. But they're instantly dying. So I should be pretty safe. We're going to head over here and build a nice little aura stack. Electric aura right. Yes, I guess this forward. I guess that's the I guess that's the play. And then this here. Still 73 out of 140. Oh, it did. It did move. That's what I was worried about. Okay. This did move. Okay, so my best strat is going to be... I might even build an ensnare aura then. My best strat is absolutely going to be just building or like uh, aura stacks all around the map. I feel like that ends up being the best strat. If there's going to be... If the teleporter thing or the the portal is going to be teleporting around and allow and trying to get the spiders to jump into it, like that's not, uh, not exactly a good scenario for me. So now we want to start building aura stacks in front of each spider spawn that's going to be the massive switch up in terms of strategy Let's see if i can get this positioned kind of awkward it's unlikely i'll need this one here maybe i'll come back and sell this one we'll have to see but that'll be the play from from this point it's just to place aura stacks that one might get sold in the future 108 seconds till this next spawn and i have a i have a bit of work to do yeah, this is a rough spot for it. We're going to go ahead and jump over here. We still have the lightning towers, obviously, putting in work, which is super nice. Where are all of these spider spawns? That's the new question that I have to ask myself. And the problem is spiders don't spawn like normal minions. You know, they kind of spawn. That's the that's a big thing. They don't really spawn out of these doors as much. They just spawn randomly. So you have to kind of watch out for that. I'm going to block off all the doors. And we'll try to keep an eye out for spider spawns. But we will cover the doors here. This is a bit tougher because I can't really... A little too close to that one. We'll put this here. Yep, that'll do just fine. Another aura stack successfully placed. I'm even going to put some of my mana as upgrades into this. Can't currently activate hero boost. Oh! Wait a minute. You know what it is? Oh, I'm an idiot. 
I think my keybinds got reset again. I ah, uh, I, that was so interesting. Um, there must have been a patch or something. I don't know why. I've <laughs> that's kind of frustrating. I've rebound my keybinds. This will be the third time. <laughs> This is the second time this has happened. If you guys know, of, if there is some way, and I'm just being a buffoon, and there's some way to actually stop this, let, please let me know in the comments. I appreciate that. But yeah, this is the third time. I usually, when I open the game on Steam, I have to configure my new keybinds, right? And I always like try, try to reset them back to what they were previously, but I always, I feel like it's it becomes difficult for me. As a more casual slash newer, I guess, Dungeon Defenders player, I mean, I still have 300 hours. I do okay, but, you know, comparatively to the hardcore player base, it's nothing, right? Um, and I try to acknowledge that all the time and always say that I'm learning. But it, it's just funny, like, as a new player, it's, it's very difficult to learn my hotkeys because I constantly have to fix them. They're constantly getting reset. Maybe not, I don't know, maybe not, it's every few months, but we only, we only play, even, even me, I feel like I play, I want to say I arguably play Dungeon Defenders, not once a day, but maybe once every two days, once every three days. Um, and a lot of times I have to reset. I have to relearn everything from scratch to some extent. I don't always remember what my, what my previous keybinds were. It kind of it's demotivating there have been times where i've opened up dungeon defenders and closed it because it was a day where i had to i had to rebind my keys and i just didn't want to deal with that that day i was too busy i was tired i wanted to just you know get off work and enjoy a game i know it may seem trivial but i feel like barriers like this are kind of what can keep players away from games but maybe that's i don't know you know that's if somebody want to worry about you know what's like a 12 year old game i think this game is amazing i think this game is like borderline flawless i do think dungeon defenders literally could go on for so long and I think it's I, I love this game I could glaze it all day because I love it so much I think it uh, it's timeless I feel like in 50 years you could catch me still playing Dungeon Defenders or in 20 years like I think a new generation could be introduced to Dungeon Defenders and, and really enjoy it like it's not a uh, not a generational thing um, let's go ahead and switch over to our I guess our possibly our, our our mage here just to build a lightning tower over here randomly that will be our last defense unit and then i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my summoner and build some more straggling archers just in case since the portal is changing locations a fair bit i do want to have it a little more protected i know there can be a little onslaught over here next to the staircase and I, they're not really in an aura stack at the moment so i want that to be quickly and promptly taken care of i want there to be a straight up you know archer wall around this crystal but and properly get him set. Well, it seems like some of my keybinds are working. That's why I'm so confused, I guess. I think I set my R to zero. Yeah, and that is uh, properly working. That's so strange. I'm not sure. I'll have to go fix my keybinds. Maybe it's a personal error. You know, you never really know what these things until you go double check, right? Anyways, let's go get this. There's probably too many Archer minions, but we'll keep it for now. I'm going to switch over to my Barbarian, I think. I like the idea of being on my barbarian here so that I can go ahead and activate my my lightning stance, which I'll probably have to do through the through this menu, which is very funny. But then just run around and smack things. And if they have lightning resistance, you know, they have lightning resistance, you know, whatever. I can't do, don't really do much about that, but if they don't, I'll be able to chain so much damage and kill so many so many spiders in one swing. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of there's a fair bit that spawn here, and obviously the the archers will mostly take care of them, but just in case I do want to help out. I shouldn't be taking any damage on my Barbarian unless something goes monstrously wrong. Yeah, this, is, this should actually be a lot easier of a map than I anticipated, which is which is nice. It's refreshing. Let's see if we can watch the portal teleport. Let's see if it if anything happens or if it sits around. It seems like it's fine. Yeah, for the time being. I think I'm fine to just jump into the next wave here. I'm just going to go into it. Did, it. did it teleport upon starting? I don't think so. I wonder if multiple portals will spawn at one point. That would be interesting as well. We're gonna I'm going to dump some mana into... I guess we I guess I know my key my key my actually no 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 that's not key bound correctly either. This is so strange. Maybe I just messed up my key binds. We'll have to see. We'll go ahead and uh take it the long way. The portal has teleported. Okay, where did it go to? Over here. There are aura stacks over here, but there's no archers. Thankfully nothing got into it quite yet, but that's a, that's a sketchy spot. Let's go switch over to our summoner and build some extra archers for a little line of defense as soon as possible here. Wave ten out of twelve though. We're making really good progress. Arguably, I want to just place random archers around random locations to where I think the portal might spawn. That might be something worth doing. I'm going to go ahead and place just a few archers. Maybe I do want to start thinking about possibly saving minion units. I'm going to place three in front, three behind. There's only a few things left. Only a few. There can't be that many teleports left. 
There we go. That place. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and just... I might just start placing... Or like, like singular archers somewhat randomly. Like one up here. Sure. I'll try to look for where mana has collected. One over here. I feel like that's where the spider spawns are. Okay, there should be one up here as well. This is looking pretty good. Rat max min units. I might end up, I'll probably end up selling off. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna end up selling off some of these archers. I just don't need this many over here. So we'll sell a few of those off. Same thing over here. I just I don't need there's so many archers over here. It's kind of ridiculous. It, it looks silly. Way too many. We'll we'll take the time to preemptively sell a bunch of these off and then place them around at somewhat sporadic spots to where I think uh, spiders might spawn. Like right here. We'll place one here. We'll place one over here, of course. Even though we have some protecting the zone, I think having one on top of the spawn will be nice. We'll place one up here because it's very possible the crystal goes up here. Honestly, I want to place a fair bit more up here because if the crystal goes up here, there's, not, there's no aura stack. There's not a very good line of protection. So if the crystal goes here, let's actually build. Like I could very well see it teleporting right to the spot. That'd be very, very dungeon defender. So let's build a decent line of defense there. Let's come over here. I'm seeing a lot of mana pull over here, which makes me think spiders. Uh, same thing over here. How is the... Let's put this here for the time being. We're almost out of time. Can I make it to the thing in time to switch over to my barbarian? Oh, no. I just barely missed it. I just barely missed it. That's okay. Not too, not too big of a deal. I should be safe, which is why I'm not too worried about it. I should be totally fine. Wave 10 out of 12 here. Max minion units and defense units on the map. Looking pretty safe. It's all about it's all about that uh, that portal teleport. And just watch, keep an eye on that and see what happens. The portal has teleported. Where did it go to? Over here. This is fine. I should be totally fine. Obviously, I don't have a great physical body in front of this, but I have the aura stack as well as some archers behind it. There we go. Safely protected. We've got two more waves of combat to safely get through. Since we're at maximum units, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess upgrade these while I'm here. I might as well. I probably should be upgrading more things in general. Got to find my upgrade key if possible. Uh, instead of finding my upgrade key, I accidentally went into the next wave. Which I mean is basically the same thing. So we should be totally fine here though. Our portal is currently here at the moment. I'll honestly just offer up my body as a sacrifice on the summoner and sort of get in the way of things. See how that affects things here. Don't accidentally bring it a separate character. The portal has teleported over here this time in the safest spot it possibly could be. Nothing wrong with that. Only four spiders left. All right, there's wave 11. I feel like this is going to be a cakewalk. I'm going to go ahead and drop my mana here in a quick sec. Once this is done spawning, we're going to drop the mana. Is there going to be a boss fight? Ooh, that's the. I guess that's the next step I haven't thought about. It doesn't seem like it. I'm not seeing a boss warning. I'm not seeing a boss warning. So we're going to switch the barbarian. We're going to jump into wave 12 out of 12. 272 spiders will be spawning. The scariest, most frustrating, most annoying enemy character in all of Dungeon Fury. It might be the Harbinger at this point, honestly. I really, I always say, I feel like the spider, when you first play against spiders, they really change the game. They really, they really show you how annoying and how frustrating Dungeon Defenders can be. And how, how, how stuck you can feel and you get chain webbed and yada 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 right um but i feel like after i guess the harbinger shouldn't be that annoying because you simply shouldn't walk towards it you know forehead it should be a pretty easy one to defeat what an easy this map was so much easier than i expected and so few people have defeated it 2.2 percent of players less than the halloween maybe just people haven't haven't taken the time to do it um that was shockingly easy that was shockingly, shockingly easy. But we'll take it, man. Sometimes you need an easy an easy achievement, an easy accomplishment, an easy thing to unlock, to push forward, build some confidence, and push into the next part of your day. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for Dungeon Defenders content every other day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace, Areno. Yo, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video, and a huge shout out to everybody listed here who goes above and beyond, supports the Patreon, and allows me to focus more on Dungeon Defenders content. Thanks again, have a great day.